world Englishes. The term world Englishes refers to the differences in the English language that emerge as it is used in various contexts across the world. Scholars of world Englishes identify the varieties of English used in different social linguistic contexts, analyzing their history, background, function, and influence. Filipino English The Philippines is home to over 100 million people spread across 7,107 islands in Southeast Asia. Among the more than 100 mostly Austronesian languages spoken in this densely populated archipelago is English, making the country one of the largest Anglophone nations in the world. Philippines inherit English from the Americans. Vocabulary The first Philippine additions to the English lexicon came in the form of plant and animal names borrowed from local languages. Example, abaca, a kind of banana plant used for making paper, ropes, matting, and etc. Another one is taklobo, the giant plum of the Indian and Chinese seas. Philippine English is characterized by a host of words borrowed from a variety of linguistic sources. The main ones being Filipino, the Tagalog-based national language, and Spanish, the colonial tongue that preceded English. Loan words and loan blends such as the following form part of the everyday vocabulary of Philippine English. First one, balikbayan box, a carton shipped or brought to the Philippines from another country by a Filipino who has been living overseas, typically containing items such as food, clothing, toys, and household products. Second one, barangay, a village, a small territorial and an administrative district forming the most local level of government. Barcada, a group of friends. Aside from direct borrowing, Filipinos employ a range of other methods to create new words, such as adding derivational affixes, creating new compounds, shortening and blending of words, inventing new initialisms. Example, batchmate, a member of the same graduation class as another, a classmate, formed by combining batch with mate. Another one is KKB, or what they call Kanya Kanyang Bayan. Each one pays their own, to indicate that the cost of a meal is to be shared. Indian English English is used by the Indian government for communication along with Hindi as enshrined in the constitution. English is an official language of seven states and five union territories and also an addition official language of seven states and one union territory. English is also the sole official language of the judiciary of India. Unless a state governor or legislative mandates, the use of a regional language or the president has given approval for the use of regional language in courts. In Indian accent, there are lots of strong vocal sounds. Examples, N is pronounced as N, R is pronounced as R, and Indian accents, there are lots of B and D sounds. Examples, the sentence in the park, they pronounce it as in a bark, in a bark, and that man is impressive. They pronounce it as that the man is impressive, that the man is impressive. Wasiyago, meaning Japanese made English. Japanese language expressions based on English words or parts of word combinations that do not exist in standard English or whose meanings differ from the word from which they were derived. Linguistics classifies them as pseudo loan words or pseudo anglicisms. Example, handrukipa, handrukipa, or it means handle keeper, derived from handle with the meaning of steering wheel or designated driver. Some Wasiego terms are not recognizable as English words in English-speaking countries. Example, skinship, skinship. That means skinship. It is a physical contact between close friends or loved ones. Appears to be a portmanteau of skin and skinship. Another one is kuningu, kuningu. Does not mean cunning, but cheating. On a test. Nigerian English, also known as Nigerian Standard English, is a dialect of English spoken in Nigeria. Nigerian Pidgin, which is derived from English, 
is mostly used in informal conversation, but the Nigerian Standard English is used in politics, formal education, the media, and other official uses. Nigerian English has a plethora of loan words that have no direct English equivalents, but have rooted themselves into the dialect and have a unique meaning. Example, Agbada, a kind of flowing dress for men, especially among the Yoruba. Another one is Babanriga, a kind of long, loose dress for men, especially among the houses. Koine jest through similar to known words, function as a sort of colloquialism that is spoken in English but has a unique cultural meaning. These are also especially prolific in Nigerian English. Example, long leg meaning well-connected. Another one is free and fair. Semantic shifts. The study of semantic is overall a general study of meaning of words. The common example of semantic shifts is in repropriation of the meaning of English words for Nigerian purposes and uses. This can cause the original English meanings to be shifted, restricted, or extended. Australian English Australian English is the set of varieties of the English language native to Australia. It is the country's common language of de facto national language. While Australia has no official language, English is the first language of the majority of the population being the only language spoken in the home for about 72.7% of Australians. Phonology and pronunciation. The most obvious way in which Australian English is distinctive from other varieties of English is through its unique pronunciation. It shares more similarity with New Zealand English. Like most dialects of English, it is distinguished primarily by its vowel phonology. Vowels. The vowels of Australian English can be divided according to the length. The long vowels, which include monophthongs and diphthongs, mostly corresponds to the tense vowels used in analysis of received pronunciations, or RP, as well as its centering diphthongs. The short vowels consisting only of monophthongs correspond to the RPLAX vowels. Consonant there is a little variation in the sets of consonants used in different English dialects, but there are vari variation in how these consonants are used. Australian English is uniformly non-brothic, that is, the T sound does not appear at the end of a syllable or immediately before a consonant. As with the many non-brothic dialects, linking R can occur when a word that has a final R in the spelling comes before another word that starts with a vowel. Terms with different meaning in Australian English. There also exist words which in Australian English are ascribed different meanings from those ascribed in other varieties of English. For instance, Asian in Australian and American English commonly refers to the people of East Asian ancestry, while in British English, it is commonly refers to people of South Asian ancestry. Biscuit. In Australian and British, English refers to cookie and cracker, while in American English, it refers to a leavened bread products. Potato chips refers both to British English crisps, which is not commonly used in Australian English, and to American English, French fries, which is used alongside hot chips. Football in Australian English most commonly refers to Australian rules football. Rugby League or Rugby Union. British English football is most commonly referred to as soccer, while American English football is referred to us as gridigal. Idioms taking different forms in Australian English. In addition to the large number of uniquely Australian idioms in common use, there are instances of idioms taking different forms in Australian English than in other varieties. Potato chips refers both to British English crisps, which is not commonly used in Australian English, and to American English, French fries, which is used alongside hot chips. Football, in Australian English, most commonly refers to Australian rules football, rugby league or rugby union. 
British English football is most commonly referred to as soccer, while American English football is referred to us as gridlock. Idioms taking different forms in Australian English. In addition to the large number of uniquely Australian idioms in common use, there are instances of idioms taking different forms in Australian English than in other varieties. 